Good morning. Well, it's morning here. Probably afternoon where this is being viewed. But here's what I got, or have. I'm gonna use, try to use better English. Um, a lift bridge. The trick to this bridge is cutting the track. Hopefully you can see this. On an angle. You see how it's on an angle? And then the track that's inside the bridge also has to be on an angle. And the reason for that is when the bridge is lifted like this that track has clearance if it's even or cut even it may not make a big di big difference if you cut it straight so that's i don't want to get too over the top in science here and, and mechanics but cutting it straight will work it'll give you a clickety click clack as the train's going over it it's all good cutting it on an angle is a little overboard not as necessary it'll still work the same but the way that this hinge is designed is that it allows this track this old bridge to lift up out of the the joint that way um, there's some room and clearance there uh, and uh, the trick too is also shimming it so what i'm using is this foam tape you can get it at home depot or lowe's it's a, a double stick foam it's made by this particular brand is scotch uh, there's lots of different double stick tapes so it's not really super crucial if it's scotch or if it's 3m um, it just it offers so it offers a little bit of a, a the ability to shim you know you can put two or three pieces together in order to to get this track at the same height so that the plane is even so you might need a couple pieces over here maybe uh, a few pieces over here it just you know just at the end of this you want these to be uh flush you know so that the train doesn't bounce up off of this track so uh, you want it to be flush also you want the edge of this track to not overhang the edge of this bridge so it's got to be put in a position so you have clearance and then that track will go like so and then when you open the bridge you see how well, I'll have to stick it on there. I don't have a way to hold this phone while I do this. I wish I had some help in here. It'd be awesome if I had some another third hand or something like that to hold this. So um, I'll do this in two videos. So basically, I wanted to go over the double stick tape factor on the bottoms of the track, just like the just like this. You just need a few just to hold it in there. Um, but you'll want to have everything lined up before you actually stick that track in there otherwise it's going to uh you know if you, if you don't have it lined up right it'll bind and then you have to rip it off and this tape is so strong that you, you it possibly will rip the wooden ties off the track before this this comes out um there's another another uh material um let me see if i can find that here it is aha I'm glad i have my organization loctite power grip crystal clear this is a good product you can get it in a smaller tube uh similar to this like a tube size like this that's lube um in a tube size like this you can get an adhesive like this this is cool because what that'll do if you use that kind of goop and in pennsylvania we called it schmutz so you put a little schmutz underneath the track maybe a couple spots then you can stick that down on you on under the bridge and that in a couple hours would bind just fine. In fact, it would do the same thing. It would be so strong that you'd end up ripping the, the wooden ties off this o, o gauge guard goiled track. I'm not quite sure what the manufacturer is. I, I work with so many different scales and I can't know all the different types of manufactured track. Anyway, so I'll do another one, but here's how this locking mechanism works. Let me go over that real quick. I'm pretty proud of this, if you can see it. So the way it works is you lift the bridge it locks. I had to temper and harden this so I had to heat it up red hot and then soak it in oil a couple times so that it, it has a springy springiness. So the way to put this down is you just simply it's locked right now so you know if you can see me I'm trying to shut it. The way it works is you have to and this is where I need a third hand doggone it. See if I can set the phone anyway um, I'll use my head to do it so you push the button and uh, see if I can use my head to push the bridge over. You push in the button. My thumb actually has been broken, so I can't use that thumb. 
and there you go. It's a design that it auto locks. You can see that. Uh, another way, if, if the button that I put on it doesn't, so you just push the button and it releases the catch. See how the catch works? I don't know if this is capturing it here. Push, push the button and release the catch. Push the button and release the bridge. Now, of course, I have to paint this. There's also holes, so you can just screw this down with probably a, an inch and a half uh, wood screw. You know, so it, it, it grabs that uh, the bench work, you know, the plywood on the bench work. You want to grab that with a pretty pretty decent screw. You know, you want as much bite as you can get into that. The bridge only weighs about 15 pounds, not even that, I think. Actually, it's, yeah, not even 15 pounds. It's probably eight pounds. <laughs> so it's really pretty pretty lightweight. And then there it is. I mean, it's, like I said, it's, it's locked, and, and when it locks, it locks. And so I don't know what's going on with my left thumb. I've been having some major health issues with that thumb. It, it's like a tendon or something is, is, is failing on me. I've had a knot in the joint. I can't move it. It's locking up. I'm going to have to go see a, a doctor um, because I'm losing my, my left thumb. I don't know if anybody has ever not been able to use your finger, but it sure stinks. It sure keeps me from doing my job. Anyway, there it is, the locking mechanism. The next video I'm going to do, I'm going to put this track down. I think you can see um, in fact, let me just go ahead and do it here. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to do it with this one hand here, and I don't think I really need to do a whole lot to show what I'm talking about. And this phone doesn't give me any editing potential like some of these other phones. You can pause your video, do something, and come back to it. But with this phone that I have, I cannot pause. A video to uh, to do what I need to do so I'm just gonna have to set the phone down and, and I need both I need my fingers for this bear with me and if I had some really good cool editing stuff I could probably make this video a little shorter and not have to torture everybody Torture myself and everybody. Everybody's suffering. Yeah, we can all suffer together, I guess. That's how it works. We all win together. Sometimes we lose together. But maybe if I keep talking, it won't be so boring. Come on, daggum sticky. There's one thing I would like to ask Scotch do better is make it so it's not quite as and difficult here and yeah, see this is already an eight minute video my apologies people so all right so I got that stuck down I'm just gonna stick this here temporarily now you can see that it's really close to being you just knock off those burrs but you can see it's really pretty doggone close to being spot on so and then the way it works is see how there it lifts up and out so when the track comes back down it makes a pretty smooth transfer and connection there now then you just want to shim this piece up or down whichever whichever direction it needs to go so that you have you know a smooth transfer uh, one of the ways that I would check that is with a um, with the straight edge which I have tons of them it's just like which one do I want to use right now so we use the straight edge so you know put a straight edge down across it and, and make sure that it's good to go 
that's it. Sorry for taking nine minutes of your uh, ten minutes of your time uh, explaining how this lock mechanism, how the lift bridge, the hinge, the clearance, the way the cut, the tracks cut. Um, thanks for putting up with me, and I hope this explains a little bit about how um, this type of lift bridge uh, would work. Thanks.